two and a half years of work um, that we've been working on. So it's very excited to finally be here and talk about it. Um, so I'm going to go through the trims, a little bit of the demographics. Obviously, this is a very important vehicle for the brand. You know, it plays in the largest segment of the country. Um, and from a, from a life stage standpoint and from an age standpoint, for Chrysler, it's really the, the, be the best shot we have to get the youngest customer in the show. Um, you know, this is going to sit alongside, you know, our town and country and 300, which have done very well, but do play to a little bit older audience, obviously. So it's very important that in the largest segment of the country, uh, we do a very good job of bringing young customers in so they can grow old with the brand. And as they get kids and get older in life stage, they can grow up with the brand and get a 300 in town and country. So it's terribly important. And that's why, you know, we poured everything into this car from an engineering standpoint, from a technology, from powertrains. To moving all of our engineers down to the plant back in what August, I think it was. Uh, I mean, everything we've done is to maximize this vehicle. So, um, so with that, I'm going to get into the trims. We have uh, a total of four trims. All of uh, but one are represented here today. The LX is the uh, entry level trim. It starts at 21.7. That is a $95 price decrease um, from the same trim last year, and it does come packed full of a lot of great equipment that you typically don't find in an entry level vehicle. We do have our standard nine-speed transmission with rotary dial e-shift, so like Klaus talked about, frankly, you get that entire interior layout on that base trim. And we also have a feature of keyless enter and go and push button start that's standard on that car. We're the only vehicle in the segment to offer that standard on that vehicle. Um, we kept options low on that vehicle. We do expect it to be about 5% or less of our overall trim mix. Uh, moving up from there to the Limited, which is this vehicle right here, we do expect this car to probably be the volume trim. Uh, on the outside of the car, you get 17-inch uh, aluminum wheels. You also get chrome trim all the way around, and you also get um, an LED light pipe. It's not a full DRL, but when you turn on your park turns, you get a little bit of uh, LED look in the, in the headlights. And then when you move on the inside of the car, on uh, Limited, you get uh, our 5-inch radio touchscreen with Bluetooth, six speakers, compact spare, and a couple other nice features. You can also opt this car up to put on sunroof, rear camera, satellite radio, heated seats, dual ATC, a lot of those uh, you know, nicer features you can equip uh, on the limit. But going from there, we kind of go to a, a wide strategy between these two cars. This segment is so big, it really kind of attracts what we see as two major life stage customers. You get the younger customer that's probably just getting married, maybe they're not married yet, they don't have any kids, and then you lose them in the middle. Right, when they get two or three kids, they, they get older, they want a bigger vehicle, an SUV, minivan, and then they come back to this segment, usually it's empty nesters, where they want a, a reasonable mid-sized car, you know, compact's too small, large's too big. So we really have to go after everyone with our trim levels. So we don't have a traditional good, better, best. We kind of went with a wide strategy. So as is the next car up, and by the way, sorry I missed the price, that's 23,255, the limited is. I missed that. Uh, so S is next from a price standpoint. This is priced at twenty-four four ninety-five, uh, and you know this is obviously going after that sport enthusiast in the segment. Yeah, definitely a younger male. We expect it to be about seventy percent male, based on our current S model. On the outside of the car, everything goes black, uh, gloss black on the front, the back, and the side. It does come standard with eighteen-inch satin carbon wheels. These are the optional nineteen hyper blacks that we. Today, uh, it also comes standard with fog lamps, uh, dual exhaust, paddle shifters. The sport mode is standard on, on S. Uh, it's the only 2-4 with the sport mode. Typically, when you get a V6, it's standard across the board. So if you get a V6 on C, you also get the sport mode. But on S, it's standard. Then you also get a little bit more bolstered seat uh, with a little bit of leather. We also have um, what else? We have power driver seat and satellite radio. Those are all standard on S. Then you can take us and equip it with a lot of things. You can put the V6 on it for 1950, and you can also put the all-wheel drive system on for another $2,200. Um, so when you put that all together, you're talking about a car with almost 300 horse, nine-speed paddle, sport mode, and that starts under $30,000. It's 29.6, which is thousands less than if you look at the Ford Fusion, which is one of our main competitors. They're starting around $32,000 for their all-wheel drive system. So we have a lot to offer there. Then you can also put on our dual pane sunroof. You can put on our award-winning 8.4-inch Uconnect uh, touchscreen, largest in the class. And this has a lot of new features that aren't even out yet in terms of the you know, on Cherokee. So 
have some new apps, um, have three navigation, text to talk, a lot of really cool features. And you know, I think the thing that's really cool about Uconnect is, you know, they're not always focused on being first to second with everything. We really focus on having it work, have it be intuitive and easy to use. And this customer really specifically is looking for that, whether it's the S or the C or whatever. They want, this customer wants those things to work every day when they get in their car. It's largely a commuter vehicle, so it's very important. Um, you can also opt up to a full leather seat. Uh, the car here right now is, this is a leather cloth, but you can get a full leather seat that gives you a power passenger seat and ventilation as well. And on the front, you can, like this is uh, equipped, you can get a premium light package, which has HID headlights, a full LED DRL, and LED fogs. And you know, the nice part of having some of the um, Park turn indicators, sorry, the reflectors in the uh, moved out of the headlight into the wheel well. This is basically all monochromatic look, so it's a, just a nice premium look to it. So that's going after obviously the sport side. From a premium side, uh, this is our seat. So this is the premium uh, car in the lineup. It starts at 25995 It's priced very aggressively for a full leather car in the segment. Um, so on this car, again, both of these build off of a limited. So this car, when you sit up to this, you get a little bit different 17-inch wheel. Uh, we have the 19s uh, equipped here. But on inside of the car, you get the premium Napa leather seats. You get remote start, heated seats, rear camera. You get our 7-inch um, reconfigurable driver information display. It's gorgeous between the dials. And just like S, you can put the V6 on this, either in front-wheel drive or when you take all-wheel drive, it comes standard. And then you'll get the paddles then you'll get the sport mode, then you get the dual exhaust uh, when you do that on C. And then some of the other things you can't get on uh, S that you can get on C, one is our premium interior that Klaus showed you, that has the real wood, it has memory, it has uh, warm chrome accents, also has that nice two-tone leather heated steering wheel, and also has a, um, a three-prong outlet underneath the cup holders as well. So that's only available on C. And the other thing that's only available on C is our safety tech package. Uh, and that has some very nice class inclusive safety features that Doug talked about. So adaptive cruise with full stop, lane departure, parallel and perpendicular park assist, uh, all that is available on, on C. And you know, parallel and perpendicular park assist, the forward collision warning, and um, adaptive cruise with full stop are all unique to us. Nobody has perpendicular and nobody has those other two features in the segment. So, it's something we're starting on, on C. Something, you know, we're looking at, you know, blind spot is currently available on S, and maybe we'll start to take some of these features and, and bring them down if, if customers really like them, but we're starting them out on the premium model because we think this is where that customer's gonna want them. All available on C. And just like S, you can get the 8.4 on this vehicle. It comes with nav, and it also comes with our premium audio system, a 506 watt Alpine sound system and you can get the uh, dual paint sunroof uh, as well.